hello from our hotel room. We just got back from the shipyard. This whole Antalya is behind us. I'm actually standing on a little balcony because Rico's on the conference call. With the time difference, it's the only time he can do it. But I didn't want to wait till tomorrow to give you guys my real reaction because I'm still like, <laughs> still pretty overwhelmed by today. Today was the first day that we actually got to like pretty much you know walk on our boat the hall is still upside down so we could only see it up close and touch it but the superstructure is already upright you know the right way and we got to walk on it and even the girls from the shipyard were like wow you look overwhelmed I, I was I was really overwhelmed I I knew it was going to be a big boat, but it is the largest 75 I've ever been on board of. I'm kind of like, um, this is a lot of boat for two people. I'm happy we're going to have crew. I think it's a lot of boat for two people. And I think I need a good deck hand. <laughs> Rico is like, yeah, this is awesome. I'm so excited. I'm just like, holy smokes, that is so much boat that is just so much interior exterior there is just everything is so wide and far away and I'm gonna be very honest with you I am straight up intimidated by this boat um, we went on board of 80 and I literally was like thank god we didn't have money for the 80 that is so much boat <laughs> when we decided on 75 the thought was like it would be a good boat but the two of us could, if, if we want to be alone and have some privacy, we don't have charters, we can send the crew home and send the crew on vacation and just kind of enjoy the boat, the two of us. I hope so. Um, I mean, I know going at anchor, we can do it. Going in the marinas where I know we could have help talking, we could do it. It's going to take some getting used to. It's going to take some, some getting used to. For me, we've crewed boats, the two of us, over 80 feet, but that 80 feet was nothing compared to the 75 so anyway <laughs> tomorrow i'm gonna try to take it all in a little bit more and not get so scared but today i definitely felt intimidated and yeah <laughs> you know they say the bigger the house the better is not necessarily the truth that's really how i feel about boats is how much can you handle and I hope we can handle it truly yeah <laughs> damn it's a big boat <laughs> oh, it's so tall this is kind of insane yeah how tall is that <laughs> it's like eight feet all right let's go up Look, I didn't know I'm waiting for Christina. This is my boat. <laughs> Not yet. Can you show me? What? Your boat? Yes. Yes, come on up. Are you ready for this? Whoa, look how big it is. Yeah, that is pretty large. I feel like that's all of our videos of bearing we've ever made. Like, this oh. is so big. <laughs> Every video is the same, but that's how it feels. If you guys so, would be on board, that's exactly what you would say. So yesterday we're sitting together with Vladimir, our project manager, and we talked about where we can place the subwoofers. As you guys know, we're going to put quite a little bit of sound on the boat. We're actually going to use the walks and place the subwoofers inside. Two on this side, two on this side. And we have the big speakers coming right here, the lineries. When he says big, he means big. And that's going to be our dance deck. Where's the DJ equipment going? Um, it depends. Is it a boat show setup or the everyday play? Or oh, you have it all figured <laughs> out, huh? For boat shows, we're going to be over there facing backwards. Yeah. For the dock party. And then for the private events, which are more intimate, maybe in the back there facing forward. I can see it already. I'm also intimidated by this whole thing. By the sound? Yeah. I think it's going to be total overkill, but you know, marriage, you have to compromise. Let's uh, <laughs> go through because I think the lunch break is about yes, to be yes. end. Yes, yes. Okay, to, let's, to let's finish. So this is technically going to be sliding doors into our cabin. You guys see the stairs come up pretty tight here and you kind of have to go around to go on the side decks there. So we are toying with the idea to putting a grill and stuff here 
Rico was talking about possibly putting something there, but I realized yesterday looking at GA, I don't think you can because you cannot put a dinghy up here then. I don't think it's gonna work. All right, we'll look at so it. So I we'll think look at it. we're looking at barbecue, ice maker, dishwasher going up here. So we're gonna have a little bit of this space and also where Christina is standing, right. we're gonna have a little bit of an L shape even coming out a little bit, I think. So here. Yeah, just a, a little something here. Yeah, so these are the two things and we're toying with where we're putting equipment, right, Saida? Equipment, like we're yeah. still working, working that out. For that, yeah. Okay, so we are inside of our cabin. We have sliding doors here. Mm -hmm. It might change a little because our shower is here. Yeah, it's not the right cutout yet. And that yet. seems like the cutout might change a bit. Yeah. Let's adjust it. Come in, come back in. We got light. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so anyway, <laughs> our shower is here. Sink area is like right here. Yep. And then part of this window is going into the head. So our head is right here. Hey, putting a little doors sink, open. Putting a little sink <laughs> in just to kind of be able to function in this space. And then uh, our And then wall. there's going to be a wall so right there. So this is a staircase. The wall is all the way up to this, right? This is the oh, wall? Oh yeah, that's right. Is that correct? There's like a little bit space in between. Here, yep. right? Uh-huh, that bit makes more. sense. More? Because there's a door there. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's still a door. So maybe it's more like here. So the door to the outside here, and then where you guys are, if you flip around, this is our bed right here. In the center of the window. Yeah. So somewhere here, maybe possibly a little cabinet here. Still thinking about it. There are, we have a large. Mm -hmm. We have a large closet space here. Actually, a little bit further forward. More? Yeah. It's right, bigger? The, the wall is right behind the, the little is, window there. This is the, from that part. Yeah. All the way here? No, from there, right here? Yeah. Kind, kind of from no. there. From there backwards is going to be the closet and then the rest is the room. Okay, that's bigger than I thought. Point out again the headroom here. Yeah, it's. I of course, know. we're still going to have quite some stuff going on the subfloor. Yes. And then obviously the ceiling. Nice. But it's but still, it's, gonna, but it's still going to be. It's probably at least two meters. Like, we just saw so. the subfloor, you guys, and the whole floor thing is like this big. <laughs> like all the layers, once you put them, it's crazy, like this big. So, yes, so then walking forward. we're coming in from here, right yes. here's the door. We walk into our pilot house. Well, this floor is going to be closed up. So here is closed, this yep. part is closed up. Into the pilot house where that little window is, is basically the edge of our... Is that a settee? What do you call that thing? Co-pilot chairs? Yeah, so far. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, that's here. And then we have a table right here. Captain's chair. All right, you can walk us through the rest. Yeah, so the captain's chair is going to be right in the center of the boat. The helm in the center of the boat. Then we have the dash here. And what a surprise. He's only putting one chair there. He's not even putting a second one. Yeah, correct. But you can stand. <laughs> I can sit on your you lap. You can sit in the captain's chair. I can sit on your lap. Oh, you can sit there. Okay, thank you very much. You can sit in the captain's chair. Yeah. Then there will be another window actually over there, which needs to be cut out still. I think this window is going to have a little opening to so. create some cross breeze. Because yes, I think so. So that's a wall of the pilot house, the same like we have on this side here. The door to the exterior is going to be in the corridor behind. So it's not direct from the mm -hmm. pilot house. You have to go from the pilot house into the hallway pretty much and then go to the side deck. Here you have a direct access to the side deck. And here's the, the port side. Here's yeah. our weather tight door right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then and the front part, you can yes. see from here, it's huge. Let's look at it. This is so nice. Wow. So yeah, we have our sitting area here in the front with a table, probably two tables that we're finalizing that right now to be able to, to sit here. And the lunch break is over. So this is our sitting area. It's this very, very big. This is incredible. This is our exterior flybridge. Yeah, I mean, technically we could have put a jacuzzi here. We just decided not to. No. But if you wanted to, you could do it. You could yeah. totally do it. Right, you could put a jacuzzi on the 75. You could put a little hot top there, right? Do you want it? We can no, change we your layout. No, no, I don't want <laughs> No. Oh, I changed already. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you could, like, if you wanted to, right? Because I know a lot of people envision that, so just saying, look at the space. I mean, you can make it out of aluminum already and build it in like we've seen on some other boats. This is incredible how much space we actually have on the foredeck. So I hope I get a ton of storage. It looks like I do get some. Yes. So it looks like we will have a good amount of storage underneath. The only thing that's going to take a little bit away from the storage is the subwoofer, which goes in You there. have a subwoofer here too? Just a small one. Wow. 
Why? And then I'm looking at the speaker setups. I think we got to change something because originally we were thinking to actually put them in the boo box there. You know the little speakers? Yeah. We thought we we're going to put them in the boo box, but now looking at it, I think the boo box are too low. To yeah, put them I in think there. so too. Is this the real stairs or the stairs are going to look different? No, these are the real stairs. No, I don't think so. They look too skinny to be real stairs. They are the I real stairs. See, there's 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 still teak, yeah. There's still teak going to go on Both there. Both sides, there's yeah, stairs. That's all the stairs. But it goes that low, huh? Yeah, three wow. steps. Crazy. So this is all the exciting updates, but there are some disappointments. <laughs> oh. There's a pretty big disappointment for us. We even told you guys in the last video, Naughty Styles, that we are coming here. Part oh. of the reason, the timing is because... The whole rotation. Yeah, the revolving of the hole and they're gonna join it together and we even would be able to walk on it. So that was our plan. And we were very excited about it. As we were leaving, we were told Sorry guys, but it just got pushed two weeks and there's quite a bit of factors. Which two weeks in the whole building time is nothing, right? But, but we don't get to be here for but that. But when you have the flights booked, it's a lot. <laughs> and we had plans already for the rest of the time, so we just couldn't change things. And so sad as we are, we don't get to be here for that. So I'm pretty bummed I wanted to see that. And you know, we just gonna have to rely on their videos. But I have course Alexi and he told us that he will give us a full personally personal explanation while it's happening what's happening and what is what so we'll get a video i asked for you guys because i said that's not fair for us and for everybody else who's excited so he said they will actually show us and explain to us while it's happening how it's done they will film it right so so you're gonna you're gonna have to rely on alexi rely on alexi <laughs> and have him walking you through instead no of pressure. us but i think he's gonna do a good job you know there are setbacks this is obviously not nothing to our build as a setback it's no. just sucks that you know it's an experience we wanted to have we were just excited to be here yeah but i guess it's not that bad now that i'm saying it out loud i mean i think we're just spoiled look at this that's it that's our updates and we are excited for them to film it and to watch it on the facetime <laughs> <laughs> that's I, good 